Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriadic. So in this video, we are going to discuss or analyze the paper of genetics and plant breeding, seed science and technology and the PGR. Specifically, we are going to talk about the part B. See, what are the questions that came in the exams from which of the subjects and what was the weightage for the different subjects plus what was the level of questions that are asked in the part B and on an average, like what is the attempt that is made by the students and what is the safe score from the part B. So this is what we are going to discuss in this video and we will get a lot of clarity after watching this particular video for the part B. Many students were actually requesting for coming up with this video for the ICR PhD, mainly for genetics and plant breeding and seed science. So that's why we are here to discuss this in greater detail. We have Manjanaik who has just given his ICR PhD exam in the subject of seed science and he is currently pursuing his MSc second year from the department of seed science from IRI New Delhi. Manjanaik, I welcome you to this session. Thank so let's you, begin. So let's start with the part B. So in part B, like everyone knows, like the questions will usually come from the three different subjects, which is like genetics and plant breeding, seed science and technology and PGR. the PGR. Okay. So let's begin with genetics. See, so let's discuss two important things like number of questions and the level of questions. So tell me about number of questions and secondly, tell me about level of questions from the genetics part. So currently, firstly, so number of questions, like how many questions on an average, like Approx number of questions came in from the part, genetics from part. Particularly from genetics, 9 to 10 questions will came. Okay. Nine Total to overall. Okay. Overall 9 to 10 questions came from the genetics part. You can and differentiate them between okay. Mendelian genetics, molecular genetics and cytogenetics. Okay. From molecular genetics, they has two questions. Okay. Molecular genetics, there were around two questions. Okay. Mendelian genetics is only one question. Only one question. Okay. And from the cytogenetics, they ask nearly five to six questions. Okay. Five to six questions from... I guess like you remember all the questions already. Yes. Yes, sir. that's good. So, okay, this was the differentiation. But what was the level of questions that were asked? Is it like easy to medium or moderate moderate or moderate difficult? How was it? Mendelian genetics and molecular genetics are both are easy. Okay, easy. So they were easy to answer. Okay. But cytogenetic is easy to moderate. Okay, you can say that for just cytogenetics, bit more confusing. So easy to moderate. Moderate. Okay, we can say this. Fine. So this completes the entire genetics? Yes. Okay, fine. So next, let's talk about the plant breeding. So again, same thing, we'll differentiate into like number of questions which were asked and the level of questions. Yeah, please. Number of questions. Number of questions, nearly 10 to 12, 13 questions. Okay, 10 to 13 questions, approx that came in from yes. the... Uh, plant breeding, whole, whole, whole okay. plant. Whole plant breeding, okay. Then we can, can we differentiate into different parts? Yes, yes. Yeah. Like uh, you can differentiate into molecular breeding part. Okay, molecular breeding. Fine. And then conventional breeding. Okay, conventional. Two parts. Yes. Okay, we are only just dividing this into Two molecular parts. breeding and the conventional breeding. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, start with, firstly, start with the conventional breeding. Like, how many number of questions that came from the... Seven to eight questions. Okay. Seven to eight questions, like most of the questions were from the conventional breeding. Conventional breeding. Okay. And One the, question added with the, from the stress, stress breeding that from here only. Okay, stress breeding. We'll take it separately or we'll mm. include it in the... Include it in the conventional breeding itself. Okay. Okay, fine. Next. And what about molecular breeding? Nearly six to seven questions. Six, okay. six questions you can say. Six questions from the molecular breeding. Yes. So what was the level of questions that were asked from the conventional and molecular breeding according to you? So it is like we can say moderate, moderate to difficult. Okay. For both the cases? Both the cases. Because some questions, are, the one or two questions are easy. Okay. Huh? And rest of the questions are moderate to difficult. Somewhat difficult. Okay. Confusing or, or it is com difficult? Confusing. So okay. I like to, uh, it is some options, more options are given. We mm -hmm. have to choose. So for you, since, since like you are from C technology, it is difficult. might be like a bit difficult for you. Yes. But what do you think for the students of genetics, if you have interacted with them, like what did they say about this plant breeding? So they can say they easy to moderate from the uh, plant breeding portion they, okay. they are telling. So for them, like it feels felt like easy to moderate, but since like you are a student of C technology, you felt it like moderate to difficult. Yes. Sir. Okay, fine. So this is entirely regarding the plant breeding. Yes. So let's talk about the C tech similarly. Yes. So number of questions like how many number of questions came Sir, in the exam? They, this year they has very less number of questions like nine to ten questions maximum they has. Okay, nine to ten questions. Okay, mm. fine. That, and uh, the, oh, what was the level of questions? That are very easy this time. Okay. They, directly they ask question. Okay. In case of C tech, the number of questions were also less, but the questions were like easy, easy, yes. easy to uh, yes. like both yes. easy but for both genetics. Yeah, for, for everyone like direct question they ask. Okay. So for both like genetics and plant breeding students and also from seeds and students like this part is particularly very easy to answer. Yes. So this completes like the seed tech part. Yes. So let's take the PGR. Yeah. This time they has very more number of questions like uh, 10 to 15 questions nearly. Okay. Nearly it was 10 to 15 questions from the PGR itself. Yes. 
okay so you can note this like if you are preparing for the upcoming year exams like this analysis will definitely help you to make sure to how you can prepare for this exam yeah next level in, of questions level of questions are easy to model okay can you just differentiate between like yes oh, yeah. yeah like the here from the pgr only from the two section they can concentrate it like from the act like cbd and biodiversity act okay cbd and the biodiversity and okay. one is uh, plant quarantine next part is like plant quarantine, quarantine. Plant from quarantine. these two different sec sections so, only like most of the questions, questions came. came okay and like all this what what about the level of questions from this pgr since like you are a student of seed technology like what did you feel they are almost uh, easy to monitor almost easy there are direct questions they has one or two questions are some difficult like okay they are difficult but yes. most of them are easy, easy. to monitor yes. like if, if it is like easy to monitor for you like for genetics and primary students there. also like it will be easy to monitor yes so this is overall like covers like complete part b where uh, total 50 questions we have covered which are divided into different subjects yes so like since you have interacted with the students of iri yes who will be mostly scoring like top marks in the genetics and plant breeding and also in the sea technology like what is the average number of questions that you think like most of the students have attended near, from the part b nearly they have attended 30 to 35 to 40 questions okay mostly like students have attended minimum of 35 to 40, 40 questions question with 90 percent accuracy they are telling okay okay with 90 percent accuracy like you are saying that most of the students have attended the questions from the part b uh -huh. so this is how like cutoff looks like yes. for the part b yes okay so other than that if i have to ask you about the seed science particularly about the seed science i'll just erase it so in case of seed science let's talk about the previous year cutoffs if i have to talk about the previous year cutoff for the seed science like uh, do you remember like what was the uh, marks or the rank marks of the previous year first ranker the, the seed science nearly 310 marks okay it was 310 10. marks yes okay so this was a cutoff like this was the, the highest mass, mass that was uh, secured by the student who secured the first, first rank. rank okay so if some if someone who wants to come into iri so what do you think what should be like what will be the expected cutoff for this year for seat tech seat yes tech. expected cutoff for the seat tech for the iri what this, do you think this year it might be more okay more than 310 yes approx we can uh, near take it as 330 plus 330 plus yes okay 330 plus like not the cutoff like 330 plus will be the like, highest yes. score yes and like if i say that 330 is like highest score approx like uh, uh, there are around like 78 seats or like it is more seats uh, now this year uh has for our knowledge in six to seven seats definitely okay. six to seven seats like uh will be there mm -hmm. so whoever scores like more than 270 or 280 plus 270 plus they can consider that they are having a very good chance to come into IIT yes. for the subject of seed science. So, do you have any idea regarding the genetics and plant breeding in the previous year? So, what yeah. was the highest marks of AIR1 in the previous year? Uh, that person has got 280 marks. Okay, 280 was like highest. I know like since like in the previous year, yeah, like the CSB. board was also involved. The rank of the seniors, if we eliminate the highest, like who got the seat was like 280. Yes. Sir. Okay. So what do you think like according to your understanding since like part a part b same and you might have also interacted with the students of uh, genetics and plant breeding for the part c what do you think like expected cutoff Sir, can they be? are telling this this time they are facing difficulty in part c okay huh? part b was like easy to moderate but part c was like part c. difficult they, they are faced a lot of difficulty in the part c while attending the questions okay so we can uh, expect that nearly that my friends are telling this year cutoff will be same like uh, 282 or 290 itself okay like last, since like last year part c was also like bit difficult. confusing and difficult and lengthy yes sir. so similar cutoff we we can see for this year also cutoff in the sense like i am talking about the top first ranker. first ranker and if we talk about the number of seats in iri for gpb like how many seats are available for gpb approx i guess like 15 to 16 seats are available yes sir yeah, definitely and for general i guess like there are seven to eight seats that are available for general category right yes sir. so if someone scores like more than 200 then they have a very good chance for getting into iri for the subject of genetics and plant breeding and we also discussed about the seeds and the technology so this is our analysis for the paper of 2025 for the subject of genetics and also for the c-tech i hope this is informative and helpful for all of you so if you have anything to ask you can always comment on this video thank you so much